Hey, so what's going on guys? Make sure we drop the reviews and welcome back to another video. So as you can see right in front, I do have the Autobox wall charger. So this is a charger that I can definitely recommend to you guys who are looking for a dual USB charger and do not want to pay the hefty price of the official Apple dual USB-C charger. So it retails for 169 ringgit, as you can see right here. So you do the math and you convert to US dollars, it's around 40 US dollars, if you round that. And it's not always that I recommend an autobox charger because as you guys already know the autobox are not like are well known for their chargers or power banks or stuff like that they are well known for their cases but uh however i've been using this for the past uh, almost a year and uh, this charger has never failed me it has actually served me really really well and i usually use this along with my maxif duo which i'm going to be showing you guys later and also my ipad so let's uh quickly take a look at the box itself so you can see autobox branding as usual wall charger i bought this from switch which is our local malaysian reseller one of our resellers for apple products uh, and you can see it's fast charge so this charger outputs a total of 50 watts of course split between two ports so one is a 20 watt port and another one's a 30 watt port so this combination is perfect for charging two iphones or you have a samsung device or like in my use case i use it for my ipad as well as my maxi duo so it works perfectly the 20 watt port however is not sufficient enough for the ipad so the ipad's uh charging isn't that stable but if you plug it on the 30 watt uh, port you won't have any issues so uh, if you're going to use the maxi duo you have to plug the maxi duo into the 20 watt port Okay, so flipping it to the back, you can see that one port is a 30 watt port, USB C, and another one is a 20 watt port. So both are USB PD compatible. So uh, let's take a look at inside the box and sh show you what comes in the packaging. Of course, it's mainly just the charger itself. Uh, that's about it because it does not come with any cables and stuff like that. So let me show you guys. Okay, you can see the box is empty. It comes with a quick start guide, I believe. No, this is a limited warranty guide so that's basically what's in the box i mean uh, charger is very self-explanatory you do not have to you know read the instructions or anything like that okay so taking a look at the charger itself it has a really really nice design i do like uh, the gold ring around the charger so you can see right here and then a very discreet of the box branding which is very common even in their cases as well so of course i do have the three pin version the uk plug so taking a look at the port, you can see the top one is a 20 watt port and the bottom one is a 30 watt port. So the 30 watt port is what I use to charge my iPad and the top one is what I use to plug in my Maxif Duo. So I do not have to go and buy the official 20 watt charger, which costs 100 ringgit anyways. So I just top up my another 60 ringgit, I can charge two devices at one time. However, this charger cannot charge a MacBook Pro because the MacBook Pro needs a minimum of 60 watts. Uh, so this is just barely enough for the ipad because i have the ipad pro 12.9 inch so 30 watts it's just just enough just enough so anything below 30 watts uh, the ipad will not charge consistently it will shut down and then it will keep on restarting the charge so of course that will damage your device so make sure you plug it in the right port when you're using this charger right here so overall the build quality has been really good it's really solid of course it's a bit more chunky Definitely because it has all the safety mechanisms inside. It has overcharge protection and stuff like that, you know, similar to other brands like Anchor and all. All right, guys, so let me plug this charger in and I will show you guys what I usually use it with and show you that all can be charged at the same time. All right, guys, so I have the charger plugged in. I'm going to be showing you guys me charging all three devices. So my iPad, my iPhone, as well as my Apple Watch, my iPhone and my Apple Watch, of course, with this Maxif Duo I have right here. So goes the apple watch first see that it's charging then my iphone you can see that it's maxif compatible you can see right here got the ring and then last but not least my ipad 12.9 inch from 2018 so you can see right here so as you can see i have one charger charging all three devices so the ipad is charging at 30 watts the MagSafe, of course, is at 20 watts. Of course, they do share the power intelligently. So as you already saw on the iPhone, that this is actually the right wattage because the MagSafe animation comes on. Because as you know, if you're not charging at the right wattage and the right amps, the MagSafe 
charging icon will not come on so definitely this charger is something i can recommend to you guys so if you're interested to pick one up i will definitely leave the link in the description and i hope you guys like this video if you did like it do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and i'll catch you guys in the next video